Hello everyone! Welcome to Pop Culture English. This tutorial is for anyone who wants to learn useful expressions from their favorite TV shows. Let's get started! Step 1. We will watch our clip. Step 2. We will learn the useful expressions from the scene. In step 3, please re-watch the scene. Try your best to listen for the expressions you learned today. Today's scene is from Gossip Girl. It is from Season 2, Episode 19. Dan and Vanessa are meeting their friend Nate to watch college basketball. When Dan and Vanessa arrive, Nate is talking to his cousin Trip. Trip wants Nate to visit the family. Let's begin. Springtime on the Upper East Side, where the winter chill is supposed to be so last season. But when mittens and scarves are still all the rage, the best thing you can do is just button up and hope for warmer days. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, it's my cousin Trip. It's my girlfriend, Vanessa. This is Dan. Nice to meet you. I'm trying to convince Nate here to make an appearance at the family hoodoo this weekend. Lunch today, cocktail party tomorrow. Hey, Maureen will be there. We're engaged now. I didn't know that. That's fantastic. Yeah, well, you missed a lot. Uh, hey, why don't you drop by? Your grandfather would love to see you, too. I know. I, look, I appreciate the trip. I do. There's just a lot of stuff going on. Okay, I can take a hint. Call me if you change your mind. Or... I will. I will. Congratulations. Thanks, man. It was nice meeting you. Bye. Nice meeting you, Trip. You're, you're gonna skip out on your family reunion? I appreciate the commitment to the game. No, listen, man, I'm not gonna go pretend to bond with the people who shut me and my mom out when my dad got busted. Let's go inside, the game's starting. Step two, let's look at our useful vocabulary words. Springtime on the Upper East Side, where the winter chill is supposed to be so last season. The Upper East Side is a neighborhood in Upper Manhattan next to Central Park. It is considered a very rich neighborhood with a lot of fancy restaurants and shops. So last season. Something or someone is so last season. The definition is something or someone used to be popular or fashionable but is not anymore. This is used a lot for fashion. Example, the color purple is so last season. People are wearing pink these days. But when mittens and scarves are still all the rage, the best thing you can do is just button up and hope for warmer days. All the rage. Something or someone is all the rage. Definition. Something or someone is very popular. Example, Canada Goose coats are all the rage. Or, superhero movies are all the rage. Uh, hey, why don't you drop by? Your grandfather would love to see you too. To drop by a place. Definition, to visit a place usually for a very short time. Example, I will drop by the store after work. I know. I, look, I appreciate the trip. I do. There's just a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of stuff going on. Definition. There is a lot of things happening in my life. People also can say, there's a lot on my plate. Okay, I can take a hint. To take a hint, to understand what someone is suggesting when they say something in an indirect way. Example, James keeps dating other girls instead of you. I think you need to take the hint and realize that he doesn't like you. You're going to skip out on your family reunion? To skip out on someone or some event. Definition. To avoid doing something that is your responsibility by not appearing. Example. 
I skipped out on my girlfriend's birthday party, and now she won't talk to me. I appreciate the commitment to the game. Now listen, man, I'm not gonna go pretend to bond with the people who shut me and my mom out when my dad got busted. To bond with someone. Definition, to create a close relationship with another person. Example, I really bonded with my family during our trip to France. To shut someone out. Definition, to stop being friends or close with someone usually without telling them why you ended the relationship. Example, my best friend Sarah has shut me out. I don't know why she won't talk to me or answer my phone calls. To get busted, definition, to get caught doing something bad. This can also be used when you get caught by the police. Example, the bank robber got busted by the police because he left a lot of fingerprints. Now watch our scene again and listen for our target vocabulary. Springtime on the Upper East Side, where the winter chill is supposed to be so last season. But when mittens and scarves are still all the rage, the best thing you can do is just button up and hope for warmer days. <laughs> hey guys, hey, it's my cousin Trip. Hey, it's my girlfriend Vanessa. Hi. This is Dan. Dan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm trying to convince Nate here to make an appearance at the family hoodoo this weekend. Lunch today, cocktail party tomorrow. Hey, Maureen will be there. We're engaged now. I didn't know that. That's fantastic. Yeah, well, you missed a lot. Uh, hey, why don't you drop by? Your grandfather would love to see you too. <sighs> I know, I, look, I appreciate the trip. I do, there's just a lot of stuff going on. Okay, I can take a hint. Call me if you change your mind. Don't I you? will. I will, congratulations. Thanks, man. It was nice meeting you. Bye. It was nice meeting you, Trip. You, you're gonna skip out on your family reunion? I appreciate the commitment to the game. No, listen, man, I'm not gonna go pretend to bond with the people who shut me and my mom out when my dad got busted. Let's go inside, the game's starting. watching, please subscribe for more pop culture English lessons. If you wish to see your favorite TV show on my channel, please comment below. Keep on studying!